Captain Speedmaster. So, we have one and a quarter inch square tool arm, um, it's a, what looks like a six inch at its crest idler wheel that As the guide, uh, let's see the, the belt direction and function. So it pivots from this spot. The spring keeps tension on the on this block here, and it takes about that much of a turn to make a maybe an eighth inch difference in where the belt is running. This is a 6.35 inch ish drive wheel. One inch square up here that carries the uh, Idler. One inch spring. This is a two horsepower Leeson uh, DC motor. 8.6 amps, 180 volts, 2500 RPM. And Speedmaster variable speed drive. I rarely use it above 60% of its speed. Um, so the uh, let's see, let's see. The, the motor mount holds up the entire unit. Aside from this there, and the motor is mounted firmly under this green plate that's 18 inches ish. I don't have a tape measure with me. an assembly. I got it in this condition. I'm not sure if this is how it comes from the factory. Uh, I will put that on like so. Put on the belt. this at some pressure against the belt with it tensioned. Screw these in. Tighten them down. The, the platen has uh, glass on it. It comes with uh, a 10 inch contact wheel with a bearing.
this. stand for the flat button. I can't I um and you can also pull this off this platen assembly off from this bolt here and replace it with aftermarket things like this which is this very small contact wheel so that He's in here, tightened by this. It's a hollow grinding jig I bought recently to just make my work a little more consistent and a little easier since I don't do it well enough to keep the skills very sharp. That's what a hollow grind.